Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another release day unboxing and today I have a little movie called Hardcore Henry. Now this is a movie that came out a couple months ago, it came out in April, so three months ago, and I absolutely loved it. I saw it three times in the theater and I had such a blast watching this movie. I actually couldn't wait for this film and I, it seems like I was like one of the only people that couldn't wait for this because no one went to go see it. Like in my theater... All, all three times, the most people I ever had in theater were maybe 15 other people. That, that was about it. Which, I mean, not terrible. You know, 15 other people. I mean, sure. But it, it wasn't great. It, this is a movie that should have been a success. Or at least DC. You know, it should have at least did regular, like, Jason Statham style money. You know, where Jason Statham barely gets by <laughs> with his movies and compared to its budget. Um... Luckily, this movie didn't cost much. It cost like two million dollars to make. So even though it made only like I think fifteen million worldwide, that's still not too terrible. Um, so anyway, Hardcore Henry, it's out on Blu-ray. I'm actually surprised it got a um, a was it called a slipcover um, because it was a movie that kind of you know, it didn't do great. So I didn't think they would actually make the presentation look nice for it. But it actually does look nice. It's even um, the Hardcore Henry label here is actually. Now, I keep forgetting, is it embroiled? Where it, where it like pops out? Or in, it's not embedded, it's... I think it's embroiled, or whatever. It doesn't matter, anyway, you can feel it. It's, it pops out, pretty much. Um, and it's also shiny. Look at that, oh, it's shiny. Um, so they actually gave it some presentation, which is nice. Uh, and uh, here it is, here you go. Here's the front. First, they made him dangerous. Then they made him angry, or mad, mad. I had to read it backwards, because I'm, I'm looking through the camera. Um, and uh, joins Mad Max Fury Road as one of the best action movies ever. Uh, I, I love it. It's, it's in my, like, top... It's definitely in my top ten favorite movies this year, and, I, and I've had quite a few movies that I really loved. I would even probably say maybe it's, like, number five. Maybe six, maybe seven. I have to think about it. But this is one of those movies that I absolutely loved, and... I don't care, it's silly, it's dumb, I know that, but it, it nails its premise completely, and I loved it, I really did. This is a movie I actually wish we had a D-Box, which is those seats that rumble and shit, because I would love to see it in that, um, and even IMAX and stuff, because there's some really impressive sequences that in IMAX would look amazing, but of course this movie's not big enough to have an IMAX release, so they didn't have one, but I was happy to see it in theaters. I, I really wasn't expecting it to see this in theaters, because it was like... It was funded mainly from the people that made it. I don't think there was. I don't even think there was really a studio yet. I think they all funded it themselves, like director and stuff. I could be wrong, but they used to be YouTubers. They used to make um, movie. I mean, uh, music videos and stuff. And I think they funded most of this movie themselves. Um, and then I think a couple of companies picked it up after they started to do an Indiegogo and they showed it at uh, film festivals. Uh, STX was the one that actually bought it from. Uh, a film festival earlier this year that's the reason why we're seeing it in theaters so hey it's it's cool when when companies film distribute uh, distributors decide to take a chance and uh, this is definitely a failure considering it failed but you know I'm still happy to have a blu-ray copy and I was happy to see it three times in theaters so all right let's get into this boom boom there you go here's some scenes uh, unprecedented achievement, unlike anything you've ever seen. You got a couple scenes. Not too many special features, deleted scenes, uh, a fan chat, which I'm pretty sure is the one that show, was shown in the theaters. And it does have a commentary with Charlotte Copley. Uh, and, of course, Ilya Nishuler, who is the director. Um, there you go. That's, this is pretty much what I expected it to look like in the store, but got a little, I got this. Um, and uh, let's open it. I'm sure... We are going to get a pretty standard copy, but hey, I, <laughs> these unboxings nowadays is just me. It's just here so I can talk about whatever I'm unboxing usually, or just talk about whatever I want to talk about. And not many people talk about this movie anymore, so boom! Oh, we got the digital copy, which I am going to keep that. So here, I'll show you. Here, there you go. I'll do this. There's that. And sadly, no DVD, but we get the Blu-ray, of course. So, and the digital copy. So, there you go. So, there you go, Hardcore Henry. I know that was a really quick uh, unboxing. Well, I didn't get to the unboxing until like four minutes into the video, but whatever. Um, 
there you go. Um, yeah, I can't wait to see this again. It will be my fourth time seeing it. Deleted scenes, fan chat, feature commentaries with director, producer, Ilya Schuler. Yeah, okay. So there's only three special features. I wonder what the deleted scenes are. So anyway, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you. And uh, I guess that's all for today. I don't have anything else to unbox. Uh, I might have a gore plays for We Happy Few later today. Not sure. If not, then tomorrow. We Happy Few is a game that came out on early access on Xbox One and PC. And it's looking pretty damn good. So, And I already bought it and downloaded it. So maybe, maybe not. We'll see. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Until next time, thank you and goodbye. Also, thank you to everybody that wished me a happy birthday. Really appreciated it. Anyway, thank you. And uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Mwah.